the Midnight Raven and we have to be quiet because it's 7 a.m. And we are off out and we are after a car boot. <laughs> I finally managed to get up in time. Um, I'm sorry the lighting is so bad. There's nothing I can do at 7 in the morning. Um, I'm currently going into town to get some money. And then we're getting on a bus, which I will show you a little bit of a footage of. And then we're going to go to the Narborough car boot. I am so proud of myself for getting up because I am tired. But we are going to the car boot. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film at the car boot. I'm going to try. Um, maybe. I don't know. Or I might just show you the haul and the walk to and from the car boot. Um, but I'm going to vlog walking to the car boot and vlog walking back. And then if I can get some footage at the car boot, I will try. And if I can't get footage of the car boot, you'll just see my haul. So, big thumbs up. And I'll see you very soon, hopefully at the car boot. You saw a tiny little bit in the bus footage because the bus journey is literally like 10 minutes. But I have to walk about 15 minutes down this way because the bus stop is there and the car boot is down there and there is no stop because they come off the main road and they can't put a bus stop down there. So I have to walk. It's kind of annoying. Um, but... I did see loads of car booters, it did look like mm, fairly average car boot. Obviously, if I wanted a big car boot on a Sunday, uh, you can't be Arming Hall on a Sunday. Arming Hall in Norwich is the car boot central, from what I can gather, of Norfolk. But it's in Norwich, and it's so hard to get to unless you have a car. It is possible to stay in Norwich maybe the night before, take a bus and go, maybe stay in Norwich overnight in a hotel so you can actually get to it in the morning, but from here, it's not possible, not without a car. So I'm going to carry on walking, we're going to get to the car boot, I will try and film, possibly if I can't film, then you will see me walking back and then I will give you a haul at the end. And then I will see what other footage I can come up with today. I've also forgot my Fitbit. What are you going to do? <laughs> All these miles I'm going to miss. Shit happens. I forgot it. It was too late. I didn't realise until I got on the bus and I looked at my arm to see the time and realised I didn't have it. So, <sighs> wasted miles today. But I still get to go to cart boot. So, at the end of the day, I get to go to a car boot. So... I'm going to see you in a bit. Hey, I'm back from the car boot. As you can see, I'm in my flat. Um, I didn't manage to film at the car boot. It just wasn't possible. It was so crowded. And you don't have to wear a mask there, so I felt a little unsafe getting too close to people and, and filming, so I didn't. But if you're watching this, this is the 100k Sands charity vlogging that I'm doing for the whole of June. Today is day six, so we are nearly one week in as of Tuesday, so we're getting there. Big thumbs up as well. So I'm going to show you what I got 
from my haul. Unfortunately, you're not going to see much walking footage today. Um, I didn't take my Fitbit with me. I know I woke up this morning, I got to the bus, and I didn't have my Fitbit, and I didn't have enough time to go back and get it. So I have literally walked hardly anything to do. Aside from that, there's nothing I can do. So I'm going to show you what I got in the haul, and then I'm going to wrap the video up, and then I'm going to load this on YouTube so you can watch it. Unfortunately, like I said, no walking footage today, but it is still a sans video um, showing that I did walk to the car boot. I did walk from the car boot. You just didn't see very much. So let's show you what I got. So I went to the car boot, and then when I came back, I went into the works, and then I'll show you them afterwards. So bonus work footage. Um, so the first item I got was this really pretty top. It's got like roses. I want to say they're roses. Um, it's black and white. It's from Moda at George. So it's just a cheap supermarket um, t-shirt. It cost me £1.50. Really stretchy material and it's very light. It's a little bit see-through so I'm probably going to have to wear an under top underneath or a bra. But I thought it was kind of cute. It's got this kind of ruffledness to it. And it's all like ruffles, which I thought was kind of cool. And then on the back, it's just the same pattern, but no ruffles. That was £1.50. I thought that was a nice bargain. Um, that'll be something I can wear as we're getting into warmer weather. Then I picked up these from another store. These are the Dirty Works Your um, You Exotic Bird Bath Fizzer. And there's three in here, and these are in the fragrance Tropical Coconut. So you have a toucan, you have, oh, I'll turn it round, flamingos, and then you have gorgeous peacocks. So the same three bath fizzers, same fragrances, um, and I paid um, 50p for these, would you believe? 50p for three bath bombs. Yes, they are all in the same fragrance, which is kind of annoying. I was hoping they were going to be different, but they are literally, you know, for 50p. You're not going to complain, are you? Okay, next item I picked up was these. These are um, 10 assorted tea lights from, I have no idea. They don't say, but they are 10 tea lights, as you can see. We've got green, red, purple, and a pink. Um, it just says assorted tea lights. It doesn't say any fragrances or nothing. I don't even know if they have a scent. I don't know if they're just normal, whether each candle is different. Nothing's telling me anything. Um, I think maybe they're just all the same. Oh, and then there's... A purple set up the top as well so 10 in total we can see if the other ones smell different no I think they're just all the same candle just in a different color they don't seem to have different fragrances so I got 10 candles for a pound and I'll use these to burn my wax melts um, just some candles okay moving on next what did I get I picked up this. This is the Revolution um, Reloaded Provocative Palette. So it's kind of it's kind of a neutrals palette. It's a bit lighter than I'd normally wear. If I was going to wear anything, I'd usually go for a smoky palette. Um, but these are like pinks, browns, tans. It's not my kind of palette, um, and that was two pounds. I mean. It's all right. The guy said two quid, so I said yeah. Um, I did buy another item off him, so which was this. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at this. This is the Sunkiss Superstars Collection, our Mini Heroes Limited Edition. Limited Edition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this in another video. Um, I'll just give you a quick once over that and then I'm going to do a proper opening. But we've got um, eyeshadows, blushes, lip, lip, lip gloss, 
brushes, um, we've got some mascara, we've got some nail varnish, we've got some baked perfection in the middle, and I got this for just two pounds. Two pounds. I mean, this was two pounds and this was two pounds. Can you believe this cost me so less? These at Christmas when they came out were, I think they were 15 or 20 pounds, and I managed to get it for two. Um, not a bad price. Um, I've opened loads of Sunkiss items before, and I've sold a lot before. Um, there's an advent calendar that comes out at Christmas that Sunkiss do that I've sold numerous times. But this is an actual collection rather than a calendar, basically with the same product, but they're not in a calendar. So this is kind of the collection that maybe they'd sell all year round. Or if you just wanted to give a present at Christmas rather than an advent calendar, this is what you would give. Because the baked in the middle is usually the 25th day or 24th day, depending on how many days the calendar had. And that was two quid. And then from the car boot, I went back to town um, and I went to the works. Um, I saw an item in there. Oh, hang on. One more item from the car boot slipped my mind was this. Now this is um, Chic Bloom. Now I actually have a business card um, from Chic Bloom. Um, and this is bubblegum. This is a wax melt. It cost me £3.50, which is really expensive compared to the wax melt I got yesterday. But I wanted to try them. They were bubblegum. She gave me a little business card. I will link her details down below if you want to go check out their company. The same as I'm, I did with Apple Yard candles. Um, bubblegum. Not a bad price, I guess. Maybe a little overpriced. Then I went to the works on the way back. And I picked up this. This is the collapsible storage box that was reduced from 2 for 10 to 7 to 2. Um, it does have a bit of a broken corner, but I'm just going to tape it up and use it anyway. And it was 2 quid, and it's got sloths with their babies. I mean, how cute is that? I'm going to use this to probably put my son's clothes in or to store something in. Um, but yeah, the corner's a little damaged. Apparently, um, it's split down the corner and I'm just going to tape it up and use it. And for two quid, I don't think it really matters. And then, the last items I picked up were some more free diaries. I picked up a glittery pink diary for free. I picked up a black and white diary for free. And I picked up a black diary for free and these were all free at my works at the minute they're giving diaries away for free and just basically handing them to you or you can take an entire bag um, and I picked up them they were originally three pounds not down to 150 to 75p and they're free and that was everything I got so today's video isn't as long because I forgot my Fitbit so um, I couldn't do a walk without my Fitbit which is a shame um, so I've lost quite a lot of miles today. You've seen the car boot haul. Unfortunately, this is today's video. Um, I don't have time to anything to film anything else. Um, but if you want to see more from me, big thumbs up. Support the Sands charity. The 100k challenge today is day six. I have already completed 20 miles so far. So um, give me a big thumbs up for, for doing so well. I'm nearly getting halfway near my total that I want. Obviously, I'm doing 62k and I'm only on 20 miles, so I've got some work to do. But yeah, if you want to see more, check out the Sands playlist for more videos. Like, subscribe, big thumbs up. If you want to donate to the charity, link is in the description. Feel free to message me if you have any questions. And I will see you tomorrow for day 7. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye.